What's up? This is all from the phone, and guys, as you can see, <laughs> guys, I've been away for a little bit, and uh, there's just been a lot of stuff going on, stuff with the wifey, like stuff with her health, um, just a bunch of stuff that I haven't been able to get on here and do a post. I was trying to do a video on... My suspension, getting it all fixed, this is not that. <laughs> so I was driving the roller the other day, and this is a good lesson learned for some people, because some people say that the 2ZZ engine uh, is also garbage, but I will tell you that the only reason that this happened to me was because I ran the vehicle with very low oil and very high RPM <laughs> turning. So the other day I was coming home from work and I was making a U-turn. There was cars coming the other direction and I gunned it in first, hit lift, shifted, slowed down because I was coming up to the light to make a right. So when I was coming up to the light, I started hearing a slight tap and noticed weak, you know, weaker power. So I thought maybe another clutch incident, another clutch let go. When I got it home, I checked the dipstick and it was like a dark gray color. Typically that is a sign of metal material in the oil. I was hoping it wasn't that. Fast forward, got the car towed to my house, put it up in the air. And this is what I got. So, got the engine apart. If you guys don't know how to do pans, it's very easy. You just unbolt the front of the cross member slash, um, I guess cross member, you can call it that. So the front two 14 or 12 millimeter bolts, I think they're 14s. Um, and then the two that go for the mount here. Then there's like three bolts that you have to take back here, and this swings out to the right. And then you can reach the all the bolts for you can reach all the bolts for the uh, oil pan. So I'm gonna show you oh, what happens, guys. So this is what the movement of a rod bearing or here. you see how there's barely any movement there so this is your connecting rod these are the two bolts that are for the connecting rod um, the connecting rod cap okay this is one of the I think the are 12 tw <laughs> sorry I'm like stuttering so much guys these are 12 12 point bolts okay 12 millimeter 12 point so normal movement is like this that's normal movement okay so when you're putting an engine back together you kind of want this movement okay very slight movement not normal movement not Normal movement. FML. 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 <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm pretty upset about this. But I have only myself to blame because I was running my car with low oil. And that is what happens. So, uh,. I'm going to see if I can get away with just replacing the bearings on this without having to do anything else. These cars are typically pretty reliable. I mean, that crank, I don't know what's gonna, what I'm going to find when I pull this off of here, but I will get a video of when I pull this cap off and see what the damage is. Hopefully, <laughs> not too much, because if there is, I am screwed. But anyways... Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today. 
Hope you guys learned a lesson. Peace.